It's time now for everyone's favorite movie game show, The Movie Masters. Now, let's meet The Movie Masters. An Oscar nominee and a Tony winner, the very lovely Ms. Peggy Cass. He's a picture of savoir faire, theater critic extraordinaire, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Clive Barnes. I give the panelists to my left the ravest reviews. The glamorous girl, stage and screen, Miss Kitty Carlisle. A game show maven who has found a haven. He's the movie master himself, Mr. Gene Rayburn. Yeah. Thank you, Madam. <laughs> Thank you, Kitty. Thank you, Laurie McPherson, for bringing me on so nicely. Welcome, one and all, Peggy, Clive, and Kitty. We're going to have a wonderful time today. Let me explain to our home viewers how we do this, how we play this game. A scene from a classic movie is hidden behind this game board. You answer a question correctly, and a portion of the scene is revealed. Guess the title of the movie, and you win the game. You also win a grand prize for one lucky home viewer. Now let's take a quick look at our categories. We also have AKA, also known as. We have leading men. We have a mystery category. I'll give you more details about that later. Have a category called kids. One called musicals. You'll be good at that. Places, blondes. I'd be good at that one. The Wizard <laughs> of Oz and Oscars. You're going to be good at that one, too. All right, Peggy, we'll begin with you and ask you to select a category. A.K.A., also known as. Also known as. The nicknames of Elvis Presley, Myrna Loy, JFK, and Bo Derrick could be combined with an ace to form what poker hand? Remember the nicknames of those people. Think about them. Elvis Presley, Myrna Loy, JFK, Bo Derrick. Could be combined with an ace. Combine those nicknames with an ace. Royal to Flush. To form what poker hand? Let's okay. see, does it say Royal Flush here? Yes. Right, give yourself 10 points, Peggy. <laughs> All right, Laurie, would you uncover the square, please? AKA, there, gives you a little bit of the picture, Peggy. Darn little. Darn little is right. It's going to be hard to guess it from that. You want to take a wild guess? Um, are you are? Are you are? <laughs> no, that's, that's not it. Like All right, we go to Clive. Choose a category, please. Uh, I'll have kids and get see kids. It is. See a bit. All right, hold on. That bell means it's time for the instant winner category. <laughs> if you answer this question correctly, uh, you'll win a special prize for your home viewer, even if you don't win the game, Clive. All right, so do your best with this one. This little redhead from The Music Man grew up to make a big splash as a director. Who is this star? Music Man, director. You've seen him many times. Peggy indicates that she knows it, uh, but it's Clive's turn. No, I don't know it. You have no idea? Kitty, do you have any idea? Jackie Coogan. Jackie Coogan is a good guess, but not the one, someone more contemporary than that. Peggy, what do you say? Maybe Ron Howard? Ron Howard is right for 10 uh -huh. points. <laughs> and she forges ahead. With 20 points, very good. All right, now let's reveal part of that uh, puzzle for Peggy and see if she can identify the picture. You know who that is there? Yes, maybe I do. You want me to know who, the movie? The Could movie is what we're after. Showboat? Showboat is not the movie. I knew you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kitty's taking a look at it. She's going to choose a category. What do you say, Kitty? I'm going to say um, uh, The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz it is. Complete this musical phrase. If ever, if ever a whiz there was, the Wizard of Oz is one because, 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 because. Sing the rest of it. Because, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> if ever, if ever a whiz there was, the Wizard of Oz is one because, 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 because. Because he was the Wizard of Oz. No, that's not it. <laughs> Peggy, can you sing it? Yes. That's a wonderful no, I can't sing it. Because, Clive, the whiz he was. No, not the whiz he was. Because if ever a whiz there was. No, you're not even close. Because of the wonderful things he, he does. does. Remember oh. it now? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Now, we'll never reveal that category. That one will be dead. Peggy, what do you say? Uh, musicals. Musicals in the middle. According to a Gershwin song from the Astaire Rogers musical, Shall We Dance? Why did they all laugh at Christopher Columbus and Edison? And you got to sing the answer. 
when he said they all laughed at Christopher Columbus when he said the world was round. They all laughed at Ed Thomas Edison. What, what did they laugh at Thomas? They all I? laughed when Edison invented sound. Invented sound. Are we going to give it to her for that? Yes. Uh, Yes, we give it. <laughs> recorded sound, but it's oh, close enough. You've got it, Peggy. You give yourself another 10 points. Peggy is forging ahead here. Let's uncover that square, please. Now take a look at it and oh, see I if you can identify this motion picture. Oh, boy, I know who that is. Why is she sitting in a... Oh, gee. Uh, holiday? No, I'm sorry, that's not it. Clive, we're going to get to you. Study those categories and see which one you want to choose. And we'll get to you right after we get to this. I know who it is. the movie masters and we have three six categories left on that board peggy cass is ahead here with 30 points clive and kitty you have yet to score but i know you're going to score <laughs> incidentally i mentioned that one of those categories was closed and i was wrong about that all those six are still open clive choose a category please uh, i'll take places so we can see what she's looking at places here we go according to the song new york new york from on the town where is the Bronx in relation to the battery? And you've got to sing the answer, Clive. <laughs> the Bronx is up and the battery's <laughs> down. Right, oh. very good. Give yourself 10 points. All right, Laurie, uncover that square, please. Take a look at it, Clive. I haven't helped of it. Um, not room much. at the top. No, room at the top <laughs> is not it. All right, Kitty, it's uh, your turn now. Would you select a category? Um, I'm going to take the Wizard of Oz again. The Wizard of Oz, here we go. Close your eyes, click your heels, and tell us what Dorothy had to say to get back home to Kansas. Not a clue. You don't know? Uh-uh. All right, Peggy, do you know? What uh, did Dorothy have to say to get back to Kansas? I want my Aunt Em. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, I'd say that. Clive? Uh, give me the yellow brick road, I don't know. <laughs> Where's Toto? <laughs> no, yeah. all right, I'm gonna give you a little clue here, and if you know it, raise your hand. It's where the heart is. Home. 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 Peggy was the first one to say it. <laughs> She'll get the 10 points. Congratulations to you. She's up to 40 now. And uh, let's reveal that square. There's Does that help? There's somebody in that bed. <laughs> <laughs> Not much, does it? No. All right, Peggy, choose a category, please. Oscars. I want to know who's in that bed. Who's... <laughs> A two-time Oscar winner made a trip to the dentist in the 1960 film, Little Shop of Horrors. Now, you watch this clip and then name the famous actor. All right, roll it, please. This is gonna hurt you more than it is me. Oh, goody, goody, here it comes. Oh, oh my God, don't stop now! <laughs> 
That really hurts, doesn't it? I don't All right, like Peggy, can you name the famous actor? No, I couldn't even look at his face. It hurt so much. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I don't know. You have no idea? None. Clive, do you know? Was it Jerry Lewis? No, it wasn't Jerry Lewis. This is a very famous actor. You didn't get a look at his face, did you? No. Just his teeth. You have no idea, Kitty? I'm going to have to give you the answer. You're going to be surprised at this. Would you believe Jack Nicholson? <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, roll it and prove it to them. I'd rather enjoy it myself. Boy, Was that a young Jack Nicholson? <laughs> you <Before>. changed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Clive, choose a category. Uh, we'll have uh, Oscars. Oscars, here we go. No one thought it was dopey when this movie was awarded one regular size Oscar and seven small ones. What movie was it? Snow White and those seven dwarfs. Right, oh, Clive, for yeah. 10 points. Give yeah. yourself 10 points. Don't close yourself. <laughs> and we'll reveal the category for you and uncover the square. There we go. Oh. Well, does that help? Do you recognize that person in the bed? No, I'm sorry. Uh, it's... Oh, I do know what it is. Um, it's the one about the hostel. Um, stay, st stage fright. No. no. Stage door. Stage door is right. Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> you won the game. That's good. All right. Uh, Laurie, would you take the other squares off so we can see all Who of the picture? The he did it very, very well there. Okay. Catherine Hepburn, Ginger Rogers, Lucille Ball were all in it. Uh, Hepburn and Rogers are in this photo, one with the mask over the face. And it's a story of a young woman breaking into show business, and she lives in this theatrical boarding house, as you remember. Uh, it's, it was called the Footlights Club. I remember when they were still around. Edna Ferber and George S. Kaufman wrote the... What? No? It was called the Rehearsal Club. The Rehearsal Club. You're <laughs> absolutely right. That's why we have Peggy around. <laughs> she keeps us on the straight and narrow here. All right, now, uh, Clive, would you tell us which home viewer you're playing for? I'm playing for Joey Diamond of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. All right, and uh, Peggy, which home viewer are you playing for? I'm playing for Kim Patterson of Fort Worth, Texas. All right, and Kitty, your home viewer? I'm playing for Mary Noweth of Air, Pennsylvania. No, Massachusetts. Massachusetts, close enough. <laughs> okay, let's find out what those people are going to win. Here we go. Our lucky grand prize winner will receive a selection of Cary Grant home videos. Our second place winner will get a month's worth of free movie passes for two from Lowe's Theater. And for our third place finisher, we've got the top-selling book, Jimmy Stewart and his poems. Nice game, movie masters. Uh, Very well done. All right, we're going to give you another game or so uh, in a moment or so. It's going to be a harder one, so uh, get ready now. And we'll do that right after we do this. Welcome back to Movie Masters. Shall we have another go at it? Yes. Why not? All right, here are the categories. Leading men, leading ladies, co-stars, hunks, 
AKA, also known as Oscars, The Sound of Music, Musicals, and the Mystery Category. Clive, it's your turn. Choose one. I'll have co-stars. Co-stars. Up in the right-hand corner, here we go. Look carefully at this dance scene, at this dance trio in a scene from Damsel in Distress. Roll it, if you please. Oh. Clive, did you get a good look at it? No, As you can good. see, Fred Astaire traded in dance partner Ginger Rogers for a famous comedy duo. Can you name them? Burns and Allen. That's right, for 10 <laughs> points. <laughs> Give yourself the 10 points. How did you know that? You've been going right. up on that book. <laughs> now let's uncover that square, if you please. Huh. Okay, there's Very part of it useful. there. No, I pass. You're going to pass on that? Yep. All right. Rear window. No. <laughs> Kitty, it's your turn to select a category. I'm going to take, um, uh, I think I'd better have maybe, maybe leading ladies. There may be something under there I could identify. <laughs> All right, Kitty, listen to this number from Dance Girl Dance and tell us what popular actress is singing. All right, roll it, please. My mother told me there'd be days like this. When the wind would begin to blow, and I wouldn't know where to go. All right. Can you give us the name of that actress? Uh, Nanette Fabre. No, not a bad guess. Yes, Peggy, do you know the name of that actress? Eleanor Powell. No, you're, you're guessing very well, but not, the, not on the money. Clive. I'm, guess, I'm guessing as well. Gloria de Haven. No, you got... All three of you gave an answer about the same genre there. Uh, I'm going to let you uh, listen to this audio clip, and you I'm sure you'll get it, or watch it here on this monitor. She said the night would be so cold and dark, and I'd be all alone. And every dream I own would blow away. All right, you all recognize Lucille, Lucille Ball. Ball. Right. <laughs> and she was a very young Lucille Ball in that film click. All right, Peggy, it's your turn. Choose a category. A.K.A. A.K.A. All right. He so admired Humphrey Bogart's performance as Captain Queeg that this young actor took his stage name from this bogey film. Who is he? From this what film? He so admired Humphrey Bogart's performance as Captain Queeg that this young actor took his stage name from this bogey film. Who is he, Peggy? Your turn. He is Michael Caine. You are right. Congratulations. <laughs> Ten points for you. You know his real name, anybody, just for the heck of it? It has nothing to do with the game. His real name was Morris Micklewhite. Oh, that's right. Oh. Yeah. Maurice, as we say in this country. In England, they say Morris. <laughs> All right, let's uncover that square. There it is. Does oh, that help you? A little bit. It does. Do you want oh. me to tell you what I think it is? Tell us what you think it is. It's your turn. I may be wrong, but I think it's My Girl Friday. Good one. His Girl Friday. Close yeah, enough. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> you win the game. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. I'm going to take all the squares off, if you would, please. And let's look at the whole picture here. Cary Grant, of course, is in it. Uh, you can see Rosalind Russell there. She was in it. Uh, reporter and editor, our ex-husband and wife. Cary Grant. Ralph Bellamy, remember, was in it. He played her fiancé. Howard Hawks directed it. It's a remake, of course, of the marvelous old stage play, Front Page. And... Uh, she, remember, the prisoner was hidden in the roll-top desk? Yes. I played that. <laughs> you played that? Yeah, you were in it and you played Very good. You played Molly, the, the girl that jumped out of the window. I worked with her for three years on Broadway, so I, I yeah. recognized her right away. Yes, indeed. Well, good for you, Peggy. Now, uh, tell us which home viewer you're playing for. I am playing for Penny Bricado of Van Nuys, California. All right, Clive. I'm playing for Vicky Vaughan of Boca Baton. And Kitty. And I'm playing for Richard Smith of Patchogue, New York. 
All right, we're going to find out from Peter right now what prizes they won. Go. All right, Gene, for our grand prize winner, we have a Sony video cassette recorder. For our second prize winner, there's the American Movie Classics Director's Chair. And our third prize winner will receive Screwball, a pictorial tribute to America's and Hollywood's madcap romantic comedies. Nice game, Movie Master. Okay, very well done indeed. We'll get back to our three whizzes here, the Movie Masters, right after this. Okay, on we go with the Movie Masters. Now, let's take a challenge question from a home viewer. I'll give it to you in a moment. If you know the answer, just raise your hand and I'll call on you. This was sent in by Dave Walensa of Greenfield, Wisconsin. And here it is. Who was originally supposed to play the Tin Woodsman in The Wizard of Oz? Who knows that? I'll give you a little... I'll give you a little clue. He had to back out because he was allergic to the metallic paint. You know who that was? <laughs> I do know. I Anybody in the audience know who it was? <laughs> who? Buddy Epson, madam. Give her a Hershey bar. <laughs> who was it? Buddy Epson. <laughs> Buddy Epson. All right. They're gonna start another, we're going to start another game now with these categories. Famous quotes, anatomy, character actors. It's a wonderful life. Leading men, comedies, co-stars, mystery category, and animals. All right, Kitty, it's your turn. Choose one. I'm going to try for anatomy, because it's sort of in the middle. We might reveal something of the puzzle. <laughs> well, let's anatomy. not reveal any middle anatomies <laughs> reveal here. Anatomy. What do Betty Grable's trademark legs, Ben Turpin's crossing eyes, and Jimmy Durante's giant nose have in common? They're all part of the human anatomy. That's true, they were, but that's... <laughs> There's something else that they all uh, They were all very heavily insured. Absolutely <laughs> right. Good for you, Kenny. Give yourself 10 points. Grable's legs were insured for $250,000, Ben Turpin's eyes, $500,000, and Durandy's nose, $140,000. <laughs> Would we uh, reveal that uh, square, please, and see what it looks like here? It's going to be hard to guess a movie on one measly square, but take a wild guess if you wish. If not, it's your um, turn. He's got a hat over there. Um, it's, uh, it's a Western. I don't know what it is. No, that's not it. All right. <laughs> it's Peggy's turn. So would you choose a category? Yes, I'll go for animals, please. Animals in the lower right-hand corner. Now, this is a rhyming question, Peggy. He appeared in several Westerns. His success could not be bigger. Upon his death, they had him stuffed. stuffed. Forever on lives. Trigger. <laughs> Trigger is right for 10 points. Give yourself 10 points. All right, Laurie, please uncover the square. Take Good a look luck. at it. Take a guess if you want. Oh, if you I don't. think it's Dick Powell in something. I don't know. No, all right. <laughs> Clive, it's your turn. Choose a category. 
Uh, let's try leading men. Leading men in the middle. In any hall, Woody Allen says, this is the most fun I've had without blanking. Uh, <laughs> he remembers it? Does he remember I, it? Uh, uh, without sleeping, no. <laughs> no, that's not it. Uh, Kitty, do you want to take a shot at it? This is the most fun I've had without blanking. Without blanky? Blanking, yeah. Uh, without blankets. No. <laughs> Peggy knows. I don't know if I know. Without taking my clothes off. Not a bad answer. Oh, it's not right. Not a bad answer. No, it's not right. I'm going to have to tell you. Without laughing, he said. Ah. Uh. Without uh. laughing. Oh. All right, Kitty, your turn. Choose a category. Um, I'm going to have, um, I think I'll take the one over there. Maybe I'll see what he's looking at. Famous quotes. Here we go. Citing the similarities between herself and Marlon Brando, Betty Davis once said, we have a lot in common. He, too, has made a lot of blank. What were both of these legends so good at creating? Well, Marlon mumbled a lot, but Betty didn't mumble, so I don't know what they had in common. They had something in common. Uh, Peggy, what do you think they had in common? Uh, uh, the, the mistakes? No, not bad. Clive, last Monsters? shot. Monsters? What? Monsters? No, they both were good at making enemies. Oh. Oh. That's the that response to that. All right, Petty, Peggy, uh, get get a category well, up there. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do famous quotes. I've got to see who that is. All right. An actress once said, "People in Hollywood don't like me, and they never regarded me as a good actress." Who was she? Gosh, I, all I can think of is Sally Field's speech. No, Clive. Um. Rita Garbo. No. No. Kitty. Uh, he never liked me. Uh, the, no. No. I'll give you an additional clue. If you know it, raise your hand. Uh, her daughter might have agreed with this quote about her dearest oh. yeah, mommy. Joan, Joan Crawford. <laughs> Clive Barnes gets it for Joan Crawford is right. Give yourself ten points there. <laughs> All right. Now let's un uncover let's that square, please. Is. See who that is? Oh. You know who that is? I've got an idea. Mm -hmm. All right. Clive, it's your turn. Uh, let's have so I, guess, I guess we're going to have to reveal the squares here one by one, and I'm going to do that right now. And I'll give you some hints. If you know it, raise your hand if you please. All right, take off character actors. All right, now start with the comedies. Get rid of that one. Do the leading men. Can we just say what it is if we know? Raise your hand. We, okay, I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Keep going, Laurie. Oh. Marilyn Monroe was in it. Don Murray was uh, in it. A bus stop. Bus stop is right. It's very good, Clive. Congratulations. You, right. you won this game. <laughs> very well. All right, Clive, as a winner of the game, tell us who your home viewer is. Uh, I'm playing for Diane Macchio of Belrose, New York. All right. And... Uh, Kitty, tell us your home viewer. I'm playing for Julie Moore of Austin, Texas. Right, and Peggy? I'm playing for Lorraine Johnson of Wareham, New Jersey. Ware Town, New Jersey. Good. Now, we have something for all of those people, and Peter will tell us what that is right now. Our lucky grand prize winner will receive a selection of Cary Grant home videos. Our second place winner will get a month's worth of free movie passes for two from Lowe's Theatres. And for our third place finisher, we've got the top selling book, Jimmy Stewart and his poems. Nice game, movie master. All right. You were splendid as usual. I thank you, Peggy, Clive, and Kitty. And I look forward to seeing you next time here on Movie Masters. Gene Rayburn here. Goodbye. If you're an American Movie Classic subscriber and would like the Movie Masters to win prizes for you, or you'd like to give us a viewer challenge question, send a letter with your name, address, telephone number, and your cable system to the Movie Masters, care of American Movie Classics, 150 Crossways Park West, Woodbury, New York, 11797. If we use your viewer challenge question on the air, you'll receive Go in Hollywood, the new movie board game. And all our instant winners will get a copy of Leonard Walton's TV Movies and Video Guide. This is Peter Pratt for the American Movie Masters, only on American Movie Classics.
This is a Chauncey Street production.